Here to break down the second week of the preseason, our NFL and Sportsline analyst, Emery Hunt. Bring in the swag. Look at that fire jacket for the preseason. I like it. And teams, you know, they're still ironing out some of their wrinkles in this second tune-up. Emery, give us your winners from what you saw on Sunday. It was a great week, Sherry, and there's a lot of winners uh, coming from week two of the NFL preseason. First, how about the USFL? And I say that because I'm talking about Cavante Turpin, the outstanding returnman for the Dallas Cowboys, had a kickoff return for a touchdown and a punt return for a touchdown. And in that Saints-Packers game, defensive back for the Packers, Micah Abernathy, had a fantastic game. Six total tackles, two of them were solo stops. He had a TFL and also had an interception also. So for me, the USFL were big winners in week two of the US, I'm sorry, the NFL preseason. Also, Kansas City's wide receiver, Justin Watson. I covered his games down when he was at Penn. I remember scouting him when they played Villanova. He went for over 200 yards receiving in their first time beating Villanova since the 1920s. And you fast forward, had a great opportunity with the Bucs, but just was buried on a depth chart. And now he gets with Kansas City. He's put together back-to-back outstanding games in the preseason and has been uh, going on throughout the course of camp too. So he's played himself into a roster spot in my opinion. And lastly, how about we give some love to the offensive line? The Lions offensive line has dominated this preseason. This past game, you talk about going over 30 carries, over 170 yards rushing and over 5.3 yards a carry. That's getting the job done. And this Eagles offensive line, in my opinion, did a great job against the Browns setting the table, setting the pace, allowing all of those running backs to have success and just keep the offense on pace. They were able to move the football up and down the field against Cleveland. So those were my big winners in week two. And big, literally, for the offensive linemen there. Emery, who are you deeming losers from the second week of preseason? And, and you know I hate this part because everyone hears the term loser and, and instantly wants to dive into your mentions, but how about the Titans' offensive line? That's something that I kept under my hat when I was at that practice this past week, this past Wednesday uh, for Tennessee, their offensive line struggled against Tampa Bay. I'm talking about all three levels of their depth chart, starters, second string, and third string. Then we get into the ball game, and Malik Willis couldn't get a pass off because the offensive line just couldn't hold up, and we saw this be a theme throughout the course of that game. So the Titans' offensive line has to find better depth. They have to get together because they open up their season, their regular season, against the New York Giants, whose defensive front can pose the same type of problems that they saw this past weekend uh, from Tampa Bay. Use the term loser sort of lightly there, but the best part of these games, getting to see those younger guys, they're out there showing out that they need to impress their coaches. Emery, who's a rookie that has impressed you so far? Well, you know, I just can't give you one, Sherry. I got to give you two. <laughs> so I got to go with two rookies, uh, both quarterbacks. Skylar Thompson was my number three quarterback going into this draft class. I was a big fan of him at Kansas State. He's been on fire so far for the Miami Dolphins. They've given him a ton of reps. Uh, he's gotten a lot of burn out there with that offense and showed two weeks ago with the starters and showed last week in cleanup that he can not only move the football down the field but score the ball inside the red zone. And I have to give credit to Kenny Pickett for what he's been doing in Pittsburgh. Doing great against the, the, the rush. Doing great uh, off script. Getting outside the pocket. Completing passes at all levels of the field. And yes, it is preseason. And he is playing with the threes or whatnot. But you like the fact that the moment is not too big for him. So he's going out there and thriving under pressure, under the bright lights. And he's still a part of this quarterback competition. So those two quarterbacks, to me, have been standouts. And we know Pittsburgh has one of the hottest quarterback competitions leading into the regular season. And we appreciate it. Let's take a look again at your winners and losers from this preseason week two. As we said, still ironing out some of the details here, but here you have it. Winners, according to our Emory Turpin back out there, Watson showing out for the Chiefs, the O-line for the Lions and the Eagles. But on the losing end, Emory still not so impressed with the Titans offensive line. Well, one more game wraps up the second week of the preseason. Monday night, it's Falcons and Jets. These two having a joint practice this week, and we saw a few kerskuffles there, too, in Florham Park, and now these guys actually get to hit each other. What's your play for Monday night, Emery? It's a simple one. I can give you one, you know, straight up X's and O talk, or I can give you one in terms of against the spread because it's the same thing. I'm taking the Falcons on the money line. I just like the Falcons' depth at quarterback here because – the injury to Zach Wilson will make the Jets probably play a little bit conservative with Joe Flacco if he plays at all. So now that puts Marcus Mariota and also uh, 
Desmond Ritter against that Jets second and third string uh, quarterback depth chart. And I like the Falcons in that regard. Plus, I've said this before, this Falcons defense has gotten better at all three levels. And yes, some of the clips that came out of practice showed the Jets receivers having some success against this Falcons secondary. But when the bright lights come on, I think the Falcons will play up to speed, will play up to par, just like we saw them do against the Detroit Lions. So I like the Falcons straight up on the money line. I've stayed away from spread picks uh, in the preseason. You have to trust the depth. And yes, the Jets do have great depth. But I like the quarterback depth here more so for Atlanta. So I'm taking the Falcons to win straight up. All right. That's our Emery Hunt there with your picks, analysis, and, of course, the fire fits. Thank you so much for your time, my friend. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game, the highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics? Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.